Hi everyone, this is Holly Hanley in for DecoArt and today I'm going to be talking to you a little bit about cityscapes and landscapes and how you might create your own painting. Now I'm going to show you a few of my little tips and tools to make this whole process a little easier. Okay, so the first step of course is trying to decide what you're going to paint and I find the easiest way is actually just using things out of real life. So what I do is I take my camera and I take pictures everywhere I go. So I keep a little file of of things that I think would make a great little painting or a feature. And then that way, when I'm designing, I can use these photos to reference back to. So for instance, this one is actually, uh, this painting is actually from this photograph. So, and you can definitely, you could change things. You can, this is a little door that I added because I really like this little door. Um, I changed it to an evening scene because I, I love lanterns when they're lit up. Um, I have all kinds of little references that I sort of add to paintings. I got a nice little rose bush. I love the way that the vine just crawled around this door. Um, I have little evening scenes, lanterns. I have wall colors that I really liked. Um, here's some more flowers, architectural features. So it's a great idea to keep your phone handy whenever you travel so that you can snap a few little shots to give you um, certain ideas. So now that we've got the idea and I have a few little photo references, I'm gonna start my painting and I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna create an illusion of a three-dimensional picture on a two-dimensional surface, our canvas. So the first step is I'm just gonna add a little bit of texture to the background and I'm using the texture sand paste with a little bit of black, just mixing it together with my palette knife and then I'm gonna apply it to the canvas. Okay, so I've got the texture on the canvas and I just put it aside to let it dry. I've got my reference photo here and I'm gonna work on drawing up the pattern. So there's quite a few aspects to think about when you're drawing um, and I'm gonna actually get the painting started and then I'm gonna go through everything with you in the next video. I just finished drawing up the pattern and now I have it traced onto the canvas with a little bit of white graphite and I'm adding some uh, Decorat Americana acrylics over top of that beautiful textured black background and that was done with the texture sand paste and some black and my palette knife and I just love the way the texture gives the painting a really nice feel and the black gives it a really nice contrast and depth I think. up a few more little details and then I'm going to stop and we're going to talk about perspective. Mm -hmm. 